I just posted this on YouTube. It's a fun patch, uh, so I'm going to play it for you now, and then I'm going to talk you through it. Okay. Thanks for watching. pictured but off camera is the Buchla 223E, which is what I'm using to get all these control voltages. I'm just using four of the five blue outputs at the bottom of the module and programming them to these four keys. Uh, the key, uh, the P key is going to the mod index, and then I'm stacking on that and going to one kilohertz. The Q pad is going to CV in on the mod oscillator and going to 350 hertz, and then I'm sort of piggybacking with the little short cables also to 250 and 500 hertz. Uh, T is going to timbre on the principal oscillator and piggybacking up to 1.6 hertz. U is going to CV in on the principal oscillator and then on to 630 hertz. 281 pulse out is going to the 266, and I'm using the uh, quantized random voltage to go to the, both the principal oscillator and the modulation oscillator um, via the keyboard inputs. And also the CV out of the 281 is going over to channel A of the 292. For the overall signal routing, the principal oscillator is going to odd on the 296E, the modulation oscillator is going to even on the 296E. All of the 296E is coming into channel A on the 292, and then on to channel 2 of the 206. Odd out is going to channel 1 of the 206, and I'm panning that, and then even of the 296 is going to the 285 frequency shifter. I'm coming out of the down and going to channel 4 on the 206. Whew, okay. And what I get is without any of this gated, it's just a big chaotic mess that I can actually sculpt with the, the pads, but uh, here, here, here it is in the studio. What I'm doing with all these pads up is I have this chaotic sound and then I'm sculpting it when I move the pads, but I'm also gating it, so that chaos. Becomes. I hope that was clear, and I hope it gives you some ideas to explore. Thanks for watching.